the Biomedical Research Unit here in Oxford started up in April of 2008 and um, we have a broad range of research areas from treatment of very specific conditions such as bone cancer and sarcoma. We also focus on orthopaedic surgery and surgical treatments. I was getting incredible pain and I couldn't lift my arm up above a certain height. It really started to affect my life and in the end I knew I had to do something about it. For me as an orthopaedic surgeon I felt that I really wanted to explore an area of research that I thought was quite useful in terms of the future of how we would treat patients with rotator cuff disease. Well unfortunately I took a tumble, broke some ribs and injured my shoulder at the same time. I was very surprised when they uh, actually gave me a list of all the things I couldn't do, knowing exactly what I couldn't do. I trained as a veterinary surgeon. I decided to focus my career into pure basic science research and what we've been doing since I joined the Botnar Research Centre is trying to advance and translate the lessons that we learnt from studying horse tendons to help uh, human patients that have tendon injuries more and more people are surviving for longer and longer and more and more people have problems with pain and with mobility and if we can reduce that by this wide program of research that would be fantastic. You couldn't comb the back of your hair, you had a job to get dressed and it was, it was really uncomfortable. You had to sort of re-adapt when the professor checked it out, it was in fact um, a cuff damage. And um, he spoke to me about the different options that I had. This particular uh, department has been well known for developing uh, new types of knee replacement for arthritis, all the way through to conducting clinical trials on determining what types of surgery are best for various conditions. Some of the recent work we've been doing is to try and understand how inflammation changes in early stage versus late stage disease. And through better understanding what's going on at the cell level, we hope that we can try and develop potential therapeutic targets. What we're developing now is materials that actually change the cellular response of the body. Once you place the cell on that, it wakes up and says, well, there's a fiber here that I can follow. So instead of having a scar, you actually get a more perfect repair. What's really exciting is the next step is the translation of these potential treatments from the bench to the bedside. I say, please, have the operation. I forget all about the injury. There was no pain there to remind me. Massive improvement, yes. I mean, if it didn't get any better than it is now, it was worth it just to improve my life. Many of the researchers who are funded by NHR are frontline clinicians who every day are seeing and treating patients, and they might be doctors, they might be nurses, they might, they might be physios. Endorms and the BRU offer a great environment and this kind of multidisciplinary approach. It makes for a really um, great approach to try and understand our research question and drive, drive it forward. The research nurses, the clinical trial coordinators, they're all absolutely brilliant at engaging patients. And I've yet to see a patient in clinic that really isn't interested in being involved in one of the trials that we're doing. The only way you can move forward on these type of things is to have research and anything that I can help research with I will be happy to do. It's extraordinary how prepared patients are to help and participate in research. NIHR funding has been transformational and if we can push out not just lifespan but healthy lively years for longer, I think that, that will be a great success of the work we're, we're doing here.